What's up everybody? This is Carlos brought to you by Carlos Power Media. Welcome to today's cooking segment. We will make a winner winner chicken dinner that you can feed your family in 15 minutes or less. So let's get into the actual ingredients. We have our four chicken breasts chop them up in small pieces. So I have four chicken breasts here. Also, we have bell pepper, one bell pepper that's chopped up. We have that here. For our bedded plate, we have a cup of spinach, small baby spinach. Also, we have some green chopped onions. We do have those. We will use this in our chicken as well as our medley of vegetables. We also have our bok choy. Bok choy is a delicious vegetable. We will be sauteing these vegetables as well. Also, we have here some chopped fennel. Fennel is a very good vegetable to use. It has a light licorice flavor and it is very delicious and it's good to use in any types of recipes. Also for our seasoning, and we will share some of this seasoning between the two dishes from the chicken and from the medley of vegetables, we have our black pepper, we also have three teaspoons of salt. We have here our Jamaican curry powder, which is about four tablespoons. And here we have two teaspoons of basil. And here we have two teaspoons of cumin. Also what you would need is your cooking white wine. We would make a sauce in the actual curry as well as the medley of vegetables. We will use a cooking white wine. We will also use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in our meal. So the meal that we are making is highly nutritious and it is a little low in fat as well from the way we prepare it. Now this ingredient is optional. This is chicken and poultry rub. I love putting this in my dishes. This is optional, but I will put it in here. I will put about maybe two to three teaspoons of that. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and turn on the actual fire. Now I do have the fire turned on and started on medium heat to heat the pan up. Now we will begin to start making the chicken as well as making the sauteed medley of vegetables. The vegetables would only take about three minutes so we will get into that and we will start the chicken first since it takes that a little bit longer but this meal should not take no more than 15 minutes. We may finish in 10. So let's get it started. Here we go. And first, we will begin to start to add the chicken breast. But before we do that, we want to make sure we put our olive oil in to get it all started, to get our pan hot. So let's put our olive oil in. Okay, we got our olive oil in. Move the pan around. Everything is looking good. OK. 
Okay, so it's, the pan is heating up. So we're gonna start to put our chicken breast in. You can hear that sizzle. Putting it in to get it all in there. Gotta make it all fit. You might want to use a bigger pan depending on how many people that you are cooking for. Okay, so we have all of our chicken in there. We're gonna allow it on medium heat to cook. Now we're gonna move some of these around. We will turn the fire up just a little bit, skillet a little bit hotter. As you can see, the chicken is starting to cook more. The hotter your pan, the better. The bigger your pan is, the faster it will cook as well. At this point, you can go ahead and drain the excess liquid off that the chicken produces and put it back on the actual fire. Sometimes, if I see that my chicken is just a little bit too big in the chunks, I will break it up with the actual tongs. You can break that up. Okay guys, at this point, we will go ahead and add our curry powder. So we're gonna sprinkle our curry powder in. Okay guys, the curry powder is in. You can use a plastic spoon to kind of move everything around. Get those juices flowing in there. Get all of the curry all over. Now from this point, we're gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. Move things around a little bit more. You're allowing the actual chicken to braise with the actual olive oil and the Jamaican curry seasoning. Guys, we're only three minutes in now.
Okay guys, from this point, we're gonna add our white cooking wine. Mmm, don't that look delicious. On the stove, I have some water, boiling water that's placed over here, and you can add a little water in here, just to kind of get everything simmering. Okay. From this point, we're gonna add our bell pepper, This smells really good already. We're also going to add half of our green onions. We're going to add half of our salt. We're going to add half of our cumin. The other half will go into your vegetable medley. We're adding half of our basil. And we're adding half of our pepper. Also, I have my chicken and poultry rub that I'm putting in. Put a little bit of that in here, and this is optional. Add a little bit more of the water. Hey guys, I have everything in here, so I'm gonna put a top over it and let it simmer. And I'm gonna reduce the heat. Okay guys, we are going to start to make our vegetable medley while the chicken is still cooking. So let's add some olive oil to the pan. We are going to turn on the fire to heat the pan up. Let's get this olive oil working in this pan. Okay guys, our pan is starting to get hot. Okay guys, we just added our bok choy and our fennel along with our green onions to this actual pan with olive oil. We kind of move these things around a little bit to get them to fuse together. Kind of move it around a little bit. We're about seven minutes in. Now from this point, let's put these green onions in here. We're gonna put our black pepper that's left over, kind of sprinkle that over in here. 
We're at our leftover cumin. Our leftover salt. And our leftover basil. Now we are going to hit this with a little bit of the white wine cooking. We'll saute this in the white wine. Get that moving around. That white wine is starting to cook and infuse in with the actual medley of vegetables that we have here. And that basil is going to bring out this flavor like incredibly awesome. Now I'm hitting this with a little butter. Now this butter is pretty much a light, non-trans fat butter, so it's healthy. Kind of move this around a little bit. This is gonna be incredibly amazing. We'll let that simmer. It doesn't take long to cook, but we'll let it simmer a little bit. On occasion, you may want to come back and toss it a little bit, but you don't want to overcook it. I can smell the actual fennel. It has like a light black licorice smell to it and taste. Okay guys, now we're gonna check on the chicken. It's been cooking for about a couple of minutes. We're still under our 15 minute and under our 10 minute. So let's check this out and see what it looks like from this actual point. So let's open this up. Look at that. You have a stewed Jamaican curry chicken seasoning and vegetables and wine sauce. Look at that wine gravy. Isn't that amazing? This is the gravy it made from the actual wine. Okay guys, this is ready. So we're almost at our 10 minutes. So now it is time to plate. Let's set up and get ready to plate our chicken dinner. Okay, everybody, I just took the food off the fire and allowed it to sit at least for one minute for presentation, just so it'll be easier for me to work with. So we are going to begin to plate up our dish. So what we wanna do is, and this is just to start out, we want to take a plate and we want to layer our spinach in a bed. You can make it look pretty or you can just put it how you want to. So we're going to lay this on here. Just kind of move that around because it's going to be on the bed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the sauteed vegetables and we are going to lay that on the side. Man, this smells so good. Now, we're gonna take our Jamaican curry chicken. It didn't even take 10 minutes to make this, but on average, it could take an individual up to 15, but really it was about a little bit about 10 or maybe 11 minutes. So let's take some of this curry chicken, stir it up because it smells so good. And we're gonna take some of this and we're going to put it over on the actual spinach. Oh.
Okay guys, I am gonna put some fresh parsley over on top of this. So we're gonna do the fresh parsley. Place it over the top, give it a little color. This is truly fresh too as well. Drop that over here. Give it a little green retouch. Okay guys, we have put together our chicken dinner in under 15 minutes. We have cooked enough food to feed a family of four. So we have uh, did our Jamaican curry chicken and the wine sauce. We've also did our vegetable medley, which consisted of bok choy and green onions, as well as different spices and fennel, which has that light hint of black licorice root flavor to it. But it is gonna be amazing. You will enjoy this meal. So I will be tasting this meal as well. We have it here, which is our meal and I will be doing a taste test. So let me see how this turned out. I'm sure it's good. And that wine I'm sure is kicking as well. So I am going to do a small piece of the bok choy simmered in wine as well. Oh man. This is good. I love that licorice root flavor that's in the film. So let me try the actual curry chicken. Get a good piece of that. See what that's like. Hmm. Mm. Oh man, this is so good. You know what I was just thinking? This would be good over rice too. Some steamed rice or some peas. Oh my God, this is good. This is so good. Really good, the spices. The spices are on point. Really good. It's that Jamaican curry and that basil, it's like, bam, you know? So, again, this is Carlos with Carlos Power Media. Like my video, comment below, let me know if you tried this recipe. Subscribe to and see ya.